Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. A whole bunch of treats and food items were just released for the new year 2022, so I wanted to come out and try some of them. They have a Haunted Mansion Push Pop, a Donald Duck Dome Cake, a lot of really good looking treats, and also we're just gonna hang out and ride some rides and enjoy a day at the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. <laughs> It's definitely looking like it's a gloomy day out today, so there's a good chance we might get rained on, but it's okay because I'm wearing my new jacket, and I think my jacket actually has a hood in the back, so I might actually break it out for the first time. Most of all the treats that I was talking about are a part of the 50th anniversary like snack line and they actually rotated them out just recently. So the old 50th anniversary treats that they had, they actually switched out with brand new ones. Right here is one of the newest treats and this is just a display but I wanted to show you it's a Mickey cinnamon roll with a nice 50th anniversary like chocolate token and it's actually dusted with some iridescent sugar and I don't know I think it's really interesting it's $6.79 but I don't know if we're going to get this one today I'd rather get the Haunted Mansion Push Pop or the Donald Duck Dome Cake. We're also going to be meeting up with some friends today and some of them are friends I haven't seen in a while and I'm so happy that we're actually going to hang out today. But first, let's stop because it looks like the rainy day cavalcade is coming through. I love the rainy day cavalcade. Our first treat stop is gonna be here at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments, and we're gonna get the Chilling Chamber Pops featuring the Quicksand Trio. I am so excited to try it. It's a Haunted Mansion Push Pop, and it's a vanilla cake with graham cracker crumbs and caramel buttercream, and it's only $5.49. I have had the Doomberry before, but this is brand new, and it looks so cool, doesn't it? Also, it's really important to point out that this is not a mobile ordering item. So you can mobile order basically anything here from Sleepy Hollow, but you cannot mobile order the Push Pop. You have to hop in line and pay for it like in person, just so you know. And here it is. I love it. It is so awesome. I hope that they actually come out with all four stretching portraits, like have their own like individual cake pops. I know that they're doing something with the seven dwarves, so it'd be cool to see that. But this looks so, so good. And it actually fits so well because of the graham cracker crumbs and it's quicksand, you know what I mean? So it's a push pop. This is like really clever. This is definitely one of those treats that it's so pretty you kind of don't want to destroy. And I don't know how I'm going to like move the quicksand, but I'm going to try. I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, oh, it's pushing right up there. Oh no, I went too far. I got to push it back down. Oh, now they're disappearing. They're actually going down. Hold on. I don't know what to do. I messed up. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> I can't push it back. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is so good. <laughs> This seriously is one of the best treats I've ever had. I love everything. I love the vanilla cake, the graham cracker, and then the caramel buttercream in there. So good. I had a little issue because I was trying to push the uh, sand men. Well, I was trying to push the men down inside the quicksand, and I guess you can't go the reverse way with a pop. With a push pop. You can't go the reverse way with a push pop. <laughs> but boy, oh boy, if this is the first treat we're going to try today, it's going to be hard to top it. It's going to be very hard to top this. <laughs> also, I don't know for what purpose, but I feel like I can keep this cup for some kind of souvenir. I don't know what I would use it for because it has a hole in the middle for the push pop, but it looks really pretty. I mean, let me know. Would you keep it? I feel like it's something worth keeping. Now I think we're actually going to go walk around and see about maybe riding a ride and check on the wait times. If there's a low wait time, I would love to hop on one of the rides here at the park and then maybe get another snack. Now take a look at this, Winnie the Pooh is only 20 minute wait. Now that is really amazing. That is such a good wait time for Winnie the Pooh. I think we're gonna have to hop in line. I love it. <laughs> and riding Winnie the Pooh with me is my friend Christina, a burger with everything. Hi, I'm so happy to see you. We haven't hung out in forever, but uh, we're reuniting at the Magic Kingdom. I went about six months ago, so yay first vacation. Yeah. No yeah. vacation. Now, I'm no longer local. Yeah, so you're in the vacation I, mode. Yeah, I can eat all the things and buy all the things now because I'm in vacation mode. That's the way. That is the way. 
I know, right? It's like one of the good, like, actual interactive things. There it goes! Look at that! It's an interactive thing. You don't have to use your hands. That is really fancy. Find them all. Oh, I'm going to stand on this one. You stand on that one. Are we supposed to whack them? <laughs> I always like to check to see if the wait times are accurate and it was. It was about 20-25 minutes and now we're about to get on. We're gonna get in a honey pot. Oh, not yet. The east wind traded places with the west wind. fun and it was only like a 20-25 minute like wait but what does Tigger say in the beginning of the ride what does Tigger say ta-ta for now yeah I, I never realized that until you said it and now I'm never gonna forget it <laughs> I'm never gonna forget about it looking at some of the other wait times the standby wait for seven doors mine train is 75 minutes and I went to go see about booking a lightning lane and the next available lightning lane isn't available till nine o'clock tonight so basically nine hours from now you can pay to ride seven doors mine train for twelve dollars nine hours later now we're going to continue on looking at some of the treats here and they have a new flatbread and I'm not too sure if I'm going to like it a lot but I'm glad I'm here with a friend so she could try it too and maybe you won't like it. Oh no. Is that why you ordered it? Yep. <laughs> Just in case. Our next stop where we can find some more treats is here at the Pinocchio Village House and they have a croque monsieur flatbread with Gruyere cheese and uh, they also have like an orange almond cake that's themed around It's a Small World so we're gonna actually go in and uh, try it. I love the inside of Pinocchio's Village. It is so cool in here and the theming is amazing and also I actually might want to try to see if we can take our food and sit outside uh, on the second floor. They have a balcony that overlooks the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, they do. So it'd be cool to go up there because you get some amazing views. We're going to see if it's possible, but it is really nice in here. If you want to actually dine outside and upstairs, right here is the staircase and you get to just go right up. Isn't this really cool? Now it's not always open. Sometimes you have to check. I think the upstairs is probably open a lot more, but the outside is sometimes closed, so you'll know if there's a rope on the door or not. Now that we've made our way to the second floor, like I said, you can go outside and they have doors right over here, and sometimes it will be closed and they'll have like a little rope in front of it, but not today. And look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wait till you see the view. Look at the amazing view from up here. It's really good for people watching. And you get a clear shot at Cinderella Castle. I really do like it and it's really cozy. Nice little table here. And here's the food. <laughs> All the birds that like it. I know, I hear the birds. The birds are kind of going to town down there. 
here is a look at the new items and they have a croque monsieur flatbread and it's topped with ham tomato and guri guri <laughs> and then they also have the orange almond cake now this one's really cool because it's it's a, it's a small world and this is an orange almond tart topped with orange blossom cream and roasted almonds this one i'm excited for this one questionable very questionable but it does look good though doesn't it, it looks very cheesy i feel like if you don't the whatever, whatever yeah that cheese is, if you don't like that cheese you probably won't like this oh boy <laughs> Is it good? I like it. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's pull off a piece here. Got it. We got a nice little cut here. Nice little cut. And it looks good though, doesn't it? Look at that. I'm not the biggest fan of this cheese, but I'm going to give it a go here. It is very cheesy. Like, hold on. I'm going to give you a, like an example of the cheese. Like, it is very cheesy. So, here we go. We're going to try a little ham. The flatbread itself is good though. Look at that. Look at that undercarriage. Like the crust is like really, really good. Get your New York fold on. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I can dig on this. <laughs> good. It's a little hot though. It's, it's definitely fresh. Yeah, it is How very fresh. The I know. What's sitting there? Right yeah. Now? Well, Christina loves it. I mean, she thinks it's really, really good. I think it's okay. I'd much rather get like the uh, pepperoni flatbread or the old pizza. I forget which one it was they had here. That was really, really good. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look it up. But the one they had before, I really like that one. And now I think it's time for the uh, orange uh, almond cake. This though right here, I am super excited for. I'm gonna just kinda go right down the center there. Oh wow, you can see all the oranges and the almonds. And I'm gonna keep my little uh, small world token here. Ooh, what time is it? Now this, this I'm excited for. Okay. I like it. It's good. I don't think it's better than the Haunted Mansion Push Pop though. The Haunted Mansion Push Pop is definitely better. But this is still a really good treat. I like it a lot. Well, that was a cool experience, especially eating up there on the top balcony of Pinocchio House. And uh, yeah, I like the food. I'm not the biggest fan of Gruyere cheese, so I wasn't like too pumped about the flatbread, but the orange cake was pretty good. I like the almond and I like the theming of it. Uh, but still, nothing beats the Haunted Mansion Push Pop. That's still number one. But we have a couple more that we're gonna try as we go around the park. And uh, now maybe we'll try to ride another ride. I started making my way through Fantasyland and we're tucking over here by the Enchanted Tales with Belle which used to be an attraction but it's right now currently closed and I don't know when it's going to reopen. It was really cool. It had some amazing animatronics in there and Belle is actually out meeting and greeting guests from a distance though. You can see her over there right there. So it's actually really cool and it's a pretty setting too. Like it's a very pretty setting. The whole entire area over here by Beast Castle is just so gorgeous and well themed. But there she is at her Enchanted Tales. And might as well, since we're over here in the Beauty the Beast area, uh, go see about getting the Donald Duck Dome Cake. And I think they're selling it at Gaston's Tavern, which is kind of a strange place to actually sell a Donald Duck treat. But uh, yeah, we're right over here, so we might as well get it. And this one, I've been excited to try, because it's like a little Donald Duck. It's like a little Donald Duck Dome Cake. Look it, I can't wait to hold it in my hand. I really didn't get to read the description much, but I'm hoping that maybe some gray stuff is in it. I mean, that would make sense, right? I mean, I'm excited, maybe there is. Wow, this is the most expensive treat so far of the day. $8.29, $8.29, and it's probably gonna be just like a little tiny dome. That is really, really expensive, and sorry to say no gray stuff. It looks like it's lemon mousse with blueberry filling, citrus cake, and a buttercream. But it is really fancy because it looks like Donald Duck. And here it is. I love it. It is so cute. 
Like, I love Donald Duck. He just cracks me up. But this cake is really, really awesome. And like I said, it is the most expensive, like, uh, I think, new treat that they have here. I mean, the most expensive one since we've come across. I mean, except for a flatbread, because the flatbread is kind of like a meal. You know what I mean? But this is just a little tiny dessert. But we're going to have to crack into it. Like I said, some of these desserts, you just kind of don't want to do it. But you have to. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so, so good. And we're going to get Donald's bow first. <laughs> this looks so good. Especially the blueberry filling when I first cut into it. But here we go. First bite. Okay, that's impressive. That is impressive. Wow. <laughs> if you love lemon and blueberry, which I do, you will love this cake. I'm kind of like tossing my head, wondering if this is a lot better than the Haunted Mansion Push Pop, and I think it might be. The only bad side to it is the price. It's like $3 more than the Push Pop. So I don't know. The Push Pop might win just because of the price, but this is so delicious. And look, it's got a nice like cakey base there, and the lemon mousse, and then the blueberry filling. Wow, so, so good. It's also a big relief to be able to share some of these items with a friend. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of sweets and sometimes I don't finish all of the desserts or food items. I'm more sampled so I can go around and just try it and give you guys ideas. Kind of like review it, but it's nice to actually be able to share it. You know what I mean? At first I thought it was like just a blueberry jam in there, but these are actually blueberries. So it's like a blueberry compo. And that's really awesome. Like there's whole blueberries in there. And you can see the lemon mousse kind of like wiggling there. Wiggly lemon mousse. <laughs> as much as I love the Donald Duck Dome cake, I'm probably gonna stick with the Haunted Mansion Push Pop. That was probably my favorite. And the price is good. I mean, the Donald Duck cake is good, but it's like I said, a little bit more expensive. And plus I would like to see other stretching portrait push pops. You know what I mean? I know that the quick stand, the quick sand with like fits well with the theming of a push pop, but I'm sure they can come up with other like concepts for the uh, other three stretching portraits. And I'm sure Christina probably have to stick with the uh, Crocmanshire flatbread because uh, she likes the Gruyere cheese. I'm not the biggest fan though, so like I can't really like it if I don't like the Gruyere. You know what I mean? And that's like very distinguished. It's very smoky and it stands out a lot. Now I think we're gonna make our way through Tomorrowland. I would love to see what the wait for the Astro Orbiter or People Mover is. Those rides I always like doing. And it looks like the weather's getting a lot better. It's actually uh, the sun's coming out today and not tomorrow. The sun will come out today. Before we make our way over near Astro Orbiter, I want to hop into Star Traders because I'm looking for the Baymax Spirit Jersey with the hood. And I always find the good Spirit Jerseys here. I found the Waffle one here. Looks like they got some Valentine's Day merchandise out. That's the next holiday up. And uh, look at this. It says, Oh Boy Valentine. And I like it. That's a really cool shirt. And they also have some cups. And I don't know if these are specifically for Valentine's Day. It looks like it is. This one just says Minnie Mouse. But yeah, these are really nice. A lot more to come. And they also have a new Dooney and Burke that I'll probably show you when I come back down on Main Street. They had tons of Valentine's Day things, but no Baymax Spirit jersey. So that might be only at Hollywood Studios. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but it's so cool. Like I said, it's a Spirit jersey and it has a hood. It's in my uh, Hollywood Studios vlog that I posted a couple days ago. But I'll keep my eye out for it. Definitely want to get it. I love Baymax. Well, here is a look at the People Mover line and then the Astro Orbiter line. And it looks like the Astro Orbiter might be a little bit shorter. I don't know though. The People Mover looks really long because it has a lot of switchbacks and there's no wait time I can check for that. But the Astro Orbiter actually has a 35 minute wait time. And uh, it's funny to see it actually still be like one of these old school style wait times where you actually turn it from the back of the sign there. Isn't that really funny? This is like right there. I love it. It is really cool. So I think, we're, I, you know what? We're already in line for Astro Orbiter. I think we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, you have to wear your mask in the elevator shaft. Well, I'm not pretty sure. I definitely know you have to wear your mask to get in the elevator to go up to the Astro Orbiter. But I'm not too sure if you have to wear your mask while you're riding the Astro Orbiter. Because that's how I thought it was like supposed to be. Anything that you have to go inside, you have to wear your mask. But the other day I did Dumbo and they told me I just had to wear my mask when I walked through the building. And I didn't have to wear it when I was on Dumbo. So I don't know. We'll find out when we get up there. 
for a while there they were only allowing one party per elevator so if i went in the elevator i would have the whole elevator to myself but now i don't think they're doing that i think they're putting multiple families in there and that's really good because uh, the hardest like the the reason that this usually has a long wait time is the loading process the only way to go up is actually in an elevator shaft there we go we're going in now did find out you just have to wear the mask in the elevator when you get on the ride you don't have to wear it and it's also very windy up here all right we gotta pick a rocket i think we're gonna take this one right over here but look at the view of cinderella castle wow i love coming up here it is just so amazing like i want to watch the fireworks from up here because that would be really cool all right this is the one with your seatbelt fastened oh. keeping your hands arms feet and legs inside and please, supervise younger pilots. I'm just chilling out in an Astro Orbiter. I love it. Life is great. Life is grand. Life is grand in Tomorrowland. We got to lift up to actually go up. Oh, and also, I am in between two broken rockets. Got that one right there. And then this one right there. Control lever in front of you. Oh, yeah. We're ready. Just push the control lever forward. Thank you. Yep. Pilots. All right. Prepare for liftoff. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be very windy. Oh, but look at the view. <laughs> Going all the way up. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. Believe it or not. But the worst part of this ride is when we start coming down and descending. You actually get hit with like G-force and I'm just loving it. Like right now it's just so cozy and I love hearing the music. This is so nice. <laughs> I love it. I might lose my hat. Oh boy. I am just so happy like being up here. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Look at Tron. Wow. That's really coming along there. And the people mover, the carousel of progress. Oh boy, here we go, we're coming in hot. This is the part if we start going down. Oh boy, here it is. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh boy. That was really, really windy. <laughs> Now we got to get back in the elevator and I always want to point this out but the uh, certificate of operation uh, they have the address for the Astro Orbiter and it's 1225 Monorail Way. I think that's really awesome. I have no idea why I love the Astro Orbiter as much as I do. Like I really do love it and I would wait in a 35 minute line for that but like I would be like oh I'm gonna skip over it's a small world if it's a 20 minute wait there's just something about it I have no idea but I really do love it and I just get this giddiness whenever I ride it like I just get this like big like fulfillment of joy I don't know I, I have to get the connection one day now I think we're gonna get ourselves another new item but this isn't gonna be like a food item, it's actually gonna be a tea. Here at the uh, Cheshire Cafe, they have the Mad Hatter's Unbirthday Tea. And this is something new that they actually just uh, put out along with the other 50th anniversary items. They also have an all mixed up slushy, but I wanna try the Mad Hatter's Unbirthday Tea. I think it sounds fancy. Here are the two different teas that they actually have. The Mad Hatter one is actually a ginger green tea layered with mango tea, topped with whipped cream and a chocolate piece. And then the all mixed up is a strawberry tea topped with whipped cream and sprinkles. So they're actually really, really like fancy. Like, <laughs> I think it's interesting. So here it is. Here is the Mad Hatter's unbirthday tea. And I'm so happy that I got it and I decided to bring it over in front of the Mad Hatter right here. And it feels appropriate. And then I also ran into another friend, Ashley, and she ended up getting the uh, all mixed up. Yeah, and this is like the strawberry tea. And that one looks pretty, but look at these. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> mango and ginger uh, yeah mango and ginger green tea okay that's not bad yeah i like this 
<laughs> kind of like just a, like a refreshing green tea. Now these are frozen too, and a lot of whipped cream, and you got that nice little candy piece on top. And she got sprinkles. Sprinkles. You got sprinkles. I got a candy piece. <laughs> but this is actually really good. I honestly think I can get this again. It's not sweet at all. Like there is not any sweetness to this. It's just like a, a nice blend of tea and mango, and it it is. It's really good. Do you like yours? Yeah. I really like it. It's very good. I is it like sweet? It. Oh, you get it. Is sweet. Yeah? yeah. See that one's sweet, but this nah, not so much. You mainly just taste the green tea. But you'll get it again. <laughs> yeah. Now I think we're gonna move along, take our little teas with us, and uh, maybe do the Haunted Mansion. I mean, I think we're gonna do it. It says 45 minutes is the wait time, and at first I was like, well, it doesn't look that bad, but we are actually looping down and going by the riverboat down here, and then coming back up over on this side. So it actually might be a 45 minute wait, but we'll find out. But isn't it so funny how we're gonna go down here, and then underneath, and then back up here and then into the Haunted Mansion. We're almost so close we can actually board the Liberty Bell. I haven't rode that in a while too. That would be a fun thing to do. Probably not today. I would like to actually go over to Tom Sawyer Island. That's something I might want to do a little bit later on. We'll have to see how the weather's like because at the moment it does look like it is uh, definitely cleared up completely but hopefully it doesn't start raining. You don't want to get stranded on Tom Sawyer Island during a rainstorm. I feel like that would be very bad. The cool thing about waiting in this line to get in the Haunted Mansion is you get a great view of Rapunzel's Tower and the Haunted Mansion together. It's actually really, really breathtaking. Look at that right there. Beautiful Haunted Mansion. And then right there is Rapunzel's Tower. So it is really, really nice. And this is our line right here. So we're gonna go this way and then up and then into the Haunted Mansion queue. So we're not technically in the Haunted Mansion yet. You know what I mean? And this wasn't always used for overflow. So I wonder at one time what this was actually like purpose for. Like what was the purpose of this? I have to look that up. When we got in line, it was 45 minutes and now it is a 70 minute wait. 70 minutes for Haunted Mansion. Oh wow, and the queue is actually out here too? Holy moly. We really underestimated the Haunted Mansion today. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> It looks like the graveyard is actually open as part of the queue, so it's open for visitation. I always do love walking through here. I think it's a little bit better. Oh, and the music's playing. Wow. A lot of the interactive queues actually were shut down for a long time because it's a high touch area. Earlier we saw Winnie the Pooh that actually had their queue actually all opened up where you can touch things and I wonder if you can uh, touch the music. Like I hear the music but I don't know if the music instruments are actually working. And also the book, uh, the books actually, you used to be able to push the books in. There's a lot of cool nifty things in the graveyard. All right, it looks like the uh, music instruments are actually working. But a touch of your hand brings his music to life. Ooh. I know, right? It's like... <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's the bagpipes. Look at the beady red eyes right there. I don't know if you guys can see them on camera, but they're actually really red. I'm gonna try to give you a closer look. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> the shovel still stuck in the ground here. Dearly departed brother Dave. He chased a bear into a cave. I really did miss the queue, like fully open. And of course, Master Gracie. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, Gracie's named after Master Gracie. So that actually ended up being like over an hour. Like it was definitely longer than 45 minutes. And when we got in line, it said 45 minutes. And then when we got up there, it said 70. But uh, it was definitely about an hour. It's okay because I still had a lot of fun actually just going through the graveyard. And uh, we're almost in the doors. Almost time. And consider this dismaying observation. 
this chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. We made it. That was a struggle right there. <laughs> They've been tamed by Frankie Spirits. Kindly remain seated in your doom buggy. We will continue our tour in just a moment. <laughs> a great time riding the Haunted Mansion. Now I'm curious to see what the wait time is like once we get out here because I mean if we saw that it was 70 minutes I probably wouldn't have hopped in line and I'm sure 70 minutes like when people see that it's like prevents them from going in line. So now I want to see how long the wait is and what the line looks like. Now it says it's back to 45 minutes. It says a 45 minute wait and there's no queue over here. So you just go down and come up right there. We started off back there. Earlier I was talking about possibly going over to Tom Sawyer Island, but I think it's closed. I think it closes at five. I don't know though. Maybe we'll take a closer look when we get up here. Oh yeah, it looks like Tom Sawyer Island does close at five o'clock. And also, I kind of forgot that Splash Mountain went down for a refurbishment and look at it. It seems so strange seeing it all empty and wood there. And yeah, it's, it's definitely something else. I remember a long time ago they had an alligator in here and a cast member was like kind of like trying to shoo the alligator away. It was right here. The alligator was right there. I remember seeing that video. It was really, really awesome. Well, right now there's not really anything open in Frontierland besides Big Thunder Mountain and the Country Bear Jamboree. And Big Thunder Mountain has a 70 minute wait and we just got done with a 70 minute wait. So uh, Country Bear Jamboree it is. And look at the bubbles. I like it. Ashley's never actually done the Country Bear Jamboree, so I hope you're ready for a wild wooly good time. Clapping and growling, singing and stomping, Big Al here in Grizzly Hall. It's so crazy to think at one time this attraction was like the e-ticket attraction. This was it. This was the highlight of the day, folks. And uh, it's still crazy to think that I consider it an e-ticket attraction. <laughs> First time I said howdy, everybody. Howdy. Oh, y'all. Well, welcome into Grizzly Hall, home of our one and only Country Bear Jamboree. Show of hands. Ooh, that's you. Anybody's uh, 100? Yep. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> and welcome once again to Grizzly Hall, home of the world-famous Country Bears. Yeah. 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 We're kind of hung up here. <laughs>
boys. I was acting like a drawn one and making a lot of noise. The old girl called my hand. I said, I can't. I'm a married man. Small with these heartaches, linger on, and how long will my baby be gone? I love it. I get so excited when Big Al actually comes in and uh, interferes with the song and I start clapping along. So fun. Country Bear Jamboree, still an e-ticket attraction for me. Now I wanted to take a look at some of the wait times. Big Thunder Mountain is 60 minutes. Haunted Mansion, 45 minutes. Why is nobody seeing Mickey Mouse? Five minute wait to go see Mickey Mouse at Town Square. And uh, yeah, everything else seems like it's a regular wait. Seven Doors Mine Train, 75 minutes. 65 minutes for Peter Pan. It's a small world, 25. Yeah, kind of like a normal day. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had so much fun hanging out, trying new stacks, riding rides, hanging out with friends. It was great to see Christina again, and then uh, meeting up with Ashley and hanging out with Ashley for a little bit. So it was a lovely day at the Magic Kingdom. Let me know what snack you think is the best. Honestly, I still have to stick with the uh, Haunted Mansion Push Pop because that was really, really awesome. It was a great price. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!